So in today's Retrobat setup guide, we are taking a look at a system which most of you out there probably is not explored, and this is Love. Now, games are programs for this system in a language called Lua, and there are some really great games which are free to download, as well as some premium games which you have to pay for. So in this setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to set this up and showing you a few of the best games that I've come across. <laughs> Okay, before I start today's retro battle love setup guide, make sure to hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro bat content as well as many other front end emulation setup guides that I cover on my channel as well as standalone emulation guides. So of course we're looking at love today in retro bat and a lot of you's probably come across this under your ROMs folder in your retro bat directory. You've not really looked at it, but surprisingly, this is actually a really interesting system which has got some really good indie games so you can get your games some of them are absolutely free other ones are demos and some are just free altogether so this is itch.io and i particularly like this website for modern commodore 64 games it's a really great website so let's just download a game to begin with i've actually played a couple of these games today before doing this setup guide and yeah if you like platformers classic old school style platformers then this is a really good engine to be using so just take a look through this website and for example i'm going to just download this game just here which is slugcaster not one i played but we can download just here and obviously we're going to want the windows version and if I come back out there, I'm going to just download a couple more just so you can have a look at the gameplay yourself and see what you think. So one of them I did briefly play earlier on was this game just here, MetaNet Hunter G4. So as you can see, it's got a OG Game Boy aesthetic about it. This is a demo version. So I'm going to download this one as well. And if we just go down to download demo, and obviously we want this on Windows again. And that's downloaded. And the other one I was playing was a Fox game. And that seemed pretty cool as well. But I can't seem to... There it is right in front of me. Fox Plus Deluxe. So again, we've got another demo here. But it's fully playable up to a certain point, obviously. So I'm going to download the Windows version of this again. Now, of course, you can get these games from anywhere pretty much. If you just type into your search engine, love games, then you'll probably get lots of different websites, but I'm just using HIO. So I'm going to download the Windows demo version just here. Now, whilst these games are downloading, what I'm going to do is just go to the Retrobat shortcut, open file location, bat GUI. And for those that watches every one of my retro bat setup guides, you probably get sick at this point. But I'm going to say if you can drop down the system just here, check out my fully comprehensive guide and that will sort you out just there. But once you do see this and hopefully you do see this drop down, we're going to find love. And under extensions, this is our file extensions for this particular system. So .zip, .7zip, .lua, .love, .exe. Now, I'm predominantly working with .exes just here from the games that I've downloaded. And as we can see here, under Chorus Libretro, we don't actually have a retro watch core for this. So once we're in retro back, we're going to need to download the emulator itself. So if we come out of here and out of back GUI, I'm going to just open up my ROMs folder. And just find love and there it is so here's my three games i've just downloaded from itch.io if i just open up the first one uh, we got slugcaster and windows just here and as we can see we got a exe file which back to you i just recommended us to we've also got a slugcaster.exe just here so what i'm going to do with this is just drag this out of the zip folder and I'm also going to open up this Game Boy style game and I'm going to create a new folder for this one because once we open this in a zip folder, if we drag these contents in all together, when we open up Retrobat, you're going to have files everywhere. So what I tend to do with this system is create a new folder and just call this the name of the game, which is, say, Meta Net Hunter G4. Now just drag the contents into that folder that you just made. And finally we got this Fox game which is uh, pretty fun. 
from what I played earlier on. And again, for this one, because we go into the zip folder and it doesn't have a sub folder inside, I'm going to just create a new folder for this and call it Fox Flush. And this is the deluxe version. I just drag those contents into that new folder. So once you've done this, just delete those zip files because we've obviously taken the contents outside. We don't need those anymore. And what I'm going to do is drag all three of these games into that love folder within ROM's RetroBat directory. So that's it. So we're going to open up RetroBat. Okay, and you should see love come up within Retrobat. If we just go in here, now what I'm going to do is just open up one of the games, and that's going to prompt us to. So, Emulator Love is not installed. Install now, yes. So, here we go. So, most of these love games, they're going to boot up in a window mode, but these are kind of going to work in the same way PC games are going to work. So, normally, if we go to the options when you pause one of these games, so as you can see, this one doesn't have a full screen option. So, if we come back out, I'm going to open up pause again, and some of these games come up with a little prompt at the bottom where it says pressing a particular button on your controller will put this into full screen mode. And there we go. So for this, I'm using my Google Stadia button, and that's going to bring us into full screen mode. And there you go, so that's Fox Plus Deluxe, and you can see that's pretty cool. So I'm going to attempt to scrape some artwork. So main menu, scraper, and scrape now. So depending if anyone's updated screen scraper of artwork for some of these games, it's very unlikely we're actually going to get some artwork, but we'll try. So no, nothing there. So next up, what I'm going to show you is this Game Boy inspired game. Thank <laughs> you. 
As you can see that's really cool so there are some love games which you won't be able to play by controller as they've not been programmed for that function such as this one i was just playing only seems to respond correctly with my keyboards and finally i'm going to show you slugcaster Okay, so that's it for today's Retro Battle Love setup guide. Be sure to check out my entire playlist for Retro Battle. I've got close to 90 setup guides at this point and they're keeping on coming. So also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.